trends. There was uh, three of us here from the scientific side and we decided we will uh, avoid overlap between what we have to say. And accordingly, I have selected to talk to you about the premise of energy security being the basis for this deal. The government claims that it is to bring about energy security that uh, this entire Indo-US nuclear deal is being entered into. I would like to very quickly uh, address that issue. Um, basically, countries which are interested in energy security follow two very simple rules. One is that they base their energy systems and energy planning uh, on nationally available primary energy resources. If there is something in your own country which uh, is plentiful, then you should uh, rely on that first. Otherwise, if you are going to import primary energy supplies, then one should pick those supplies which are available from multiple sources at competitive prices. This is about the supply part of it. As far as technology is concerned, most countries uh, do follow um, the principle that if there are technologies which they have mastered, they can handle very comfortably, equipment which they can manufacture within their country, then you rely on that first before you start importing. I mean, there's nothing much to it. These are very, uh, very simple principles that anyone would follow. On that basis, if you look at the Indian picture, the three major resources, energy resources that we have, are in the order of priority, coal, hydro, and nuclear in terms of the thorium resources. This is in terms of um, megajoules, or whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, the total reserves of coal in this country is uh, roughly 250 billion, billion uh, tons. And even if you go only by the really confirmed resources of coal, it's almost 100 billion uh, tons. The current utilization of coal, consumption of coal in India is roughly around 500 million tons uh, per year. And according to that, the coal that we have can easily last us, even with an increasing uh, utilization, can easily last us certainly 50, but even perhaps 25 years. The problem with coal is that Indian coals are um, extremely poor grade quality, but uh, I'll come to the technology in a moment, how we have handled it so far and how we can handle it in future. The deficiencies of the coal sector, the, almost the entire coal sector is in government hands, it is in the public sector, and it is one of the worst managed, inefficient and corrupt segments of the public sector operation. And um, the coal production has been lagging behind the coal demand in recent years, and this gap is increasing. Luckily, the gap is being filled with import of coal, and the uh, silver lining is that the coal imports are not restricted. If there are no cartel operations. You can get coal at competitive prices, and often coal that you can buy from outside is much better coal than what we have. Now, that being the case, one would think that a government which is concerned about energy security will concentrate on coal. But I think this has been a sector which has been totally neglected, not only by this government, but also perhaps by the previous governments. Briefly, let us look at coal technologies. Uh, in early days in the 1960s, the coal burning energy systems uh, sta got started with import of technology from abroad. And uh, companies like BHL very soon found out that the imported designs of boilers uh, were not working at all with Indian coals because of the very poor nature of the coal. But over 15-year period, uh, because the, the technology suppliers will not cooperate, BHL and its engineers made the modifications 
the National Research and Development that is required, and they have brought it up to a level where the current boilers of BHL do not look at all like the imported ones which they started with. It is basically an Indian power technology which has been developed to suit our resources which are poor paid. And amazingly, some of these stations are working at, uh, most of these stations are working now at very high capacity factors. And therefore, the, the use of Indian cores has been demonstrated that we can do it very effectively. Secondly, there are, looking into the future, you need a, a large amount of liquid fuel, um, whether it is oil and also gas, uh, for transportation purposes and all that. The trend in technology is to move from coal to coal liquids. Basically, coal can be gasified and that gas can be ultimately converted to uh, a fuel oil, uh, which is as good as uh, uh, the crude oil that you can get. Now, this technology, the early, about 25 years of research and development on this has been done by BHL. They have brought it up to a stage where a demonstration pilot plants they have operated and a demonstration plant uh, project jointly between BHL and NTPC has been um, in front of the planning commission and the power ministry over the last two years and the government has not uh, found it fit to clear that project, it's a small amount relatively, but they have not done that. And in our meeting with the Prime Minister, I specifically requested him that he should do this if he is interested in energy security, and he told uh, uh, the scientific advisor that he should look into it, but nothing has happened, one year has gone by. The, uh, but at the same time, in the last two years, under the Indo-US deal, not the nuclear deal, but the, but the umbrella agreement, there is a huge amount of money going to be given to the Americans for Indian participation in a future gen project, which is the core project of Americans, where Americans are trying to convert American coal into liquid fuels. And that technology will have no application to India, uh, but it is being touted as the greatest uh, collaborative project that we should, we must get into, and the government is pushing ahead with that while they are sitting um, uh, tight on not funding the national program on which 25 years of work has been done. So again, there is no sincerity shown here uh, by the government in uh, getting the technologies developed. The other thing is about BHL. You might have uh, read it in yesterday's paper. BHL is now trying hard to get uh, the supercritical technologies, which is the current uh, high efficiency uh, steam technology for uh, coal utilization. And the finance ministry is objecting to this, even though the technology is very available from multiple sources, but their request for this technology uh, import and uh, is being held up because of financial sanctions. So many areas where we can stand on our feet technologically. The government is either deliberately slowing it down or uh, not giving attention. And it or, indirectly it strengthens the case for saying that Indian technologists and technologies are not coming up and therefore we have to go abroad. Uh, I will not elaborate on hydro. Uh, at the moment about 25% of Indian electricity comes from hydropower. There is still about uh, 80,000 or more megawatt of uh, hydro resources available. Again, the technologies for this over a period of time, both for dam construction and for equipment manufacture, have been developed in India and companies like BHL and many others are able to supply a considerable amount of all this equipment within India. But it requires um, large capital investments to set these new plants going and here again the government is lagging behind and this is uh, a renewable type of uh, energy reasonably clean there may be problems about uh, rehabilitation extra which i think can be handled